Hey guys, Ryan here. So today I'm going to be going over my entire anime collection for the year of 2022. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So, I've been into anime ever since I was a kid, and Dragon Ball Z was the series that got me into it. That was my um, entrance into anime watching. So we're going to start off with the very top here, in the top left, with Cowboy Bebop, the complete series. This is a classic from the 90s, has one of the best anime openings ever, and it actually was an anime before it was a manga, which is kind of unique. It doesn't happen too often. But I love this anime. It's very stylish, action-packed, has good comedy, wonderful animation, great voice acting, and yeah, there's a movie that finishes the series. I haven't seen that yet, but I would love to watch it for sure. I think there's like 26 episodes in total, and then there's also the movie, of course. They tried making a live-action version of this, but people didn't like it too much, so it got canceled after one season on Netflix. But the, uh, the anime for this is definitely awesome, to say the least. Alright, so moving down here, we have all my Studio Ghibli movies. So, we're going to start off with Howl's Moving Castle, and we have Spirited Away, Kiki's Delivery Service, Princess Mononoke, My Neighbor Totoro, The Wind Rises, Whisper of the Heart, and Ponyo. So, I would have to say my three favorites out of the ones that I own that I've seen so far is definitely Spirited Away, Kiki's Delivery Service, and Ponyo. I love Ponyo's songs. Um, they're really fun, and I actually saw that movie in the theater, so that was really cool. Studio Ghibli makes wonderful movies. They're really well animated. They're hand-drawn. All of them are except for one, like the newest Studio Ghibli movie that came out a year ago or so. And yeah, I love Studio Ghibli movies. They have so much heart, and they're just magical, and they're wonderful stories. And I've loved every single one that I've seen of all of the Studio Ghibli movies. All right, next up we got is the One Piece movies. We have One Piece Film Stampede, One Piece Film Gold, One Piece Film Strong World, and then One Piece Film Z. So yeah, One Piece Stampede is definitely my favorite anime movie of all time. I'm really excited for One Piece Film Red to come out. That'll be awesome. And um, they also made like movies for the different arcs in One Piece that summarize it, like the East Blue Saga, the Skypea Saga. That's about it as far as they've done. But they basically condense the story, make movies out of them, which also um, reminds me. So Haikyuu is not getting any more seasons for the anime. It's getting two movies that are going to complete the story. Hopefully they're like really long movies, you know, like two and a half hours or something so we get the most out of it as possible for IQ fans. I don't own anything IQ as far as the anime goes but I would definitely would love to because it's my favorite anime so it's kind of interesting that I still don't have it at this point but I definitely plan to plan to get all of the IQ on Blu-ray and I definitely want to see the movies. Alright so next up we got here is Hunter x Hunter and this is this used to be my favorite anime of all time. Um, I think it's like in second place. But I own it all. It's awesome. Every arc is amazing. The animation is really well done. And it's just a great series from start to finish. It's not over. The manga is still continuing on. Luckily. But yeah, the writing in it is amazing. The storytelling, the world, the fights that happen are really interesting. And I love the main character, him and all his friends, you know, go on a hunter exam. And then there's like the fan troop arc, the video game arc, the Chimera Ant arc. Um, if I were to rewatch it, I'd have to figure out which one, which arc is my favorite of them all. Last time, it was the Chimera Ant arc. That was like my favorite arc out of all of them, which is like the last arc that's been animated at this point. But yeah, um, Hunter x Hunter is awesome. All right, so moving right along here, we have Bleach, set one through five. I think there's 13 of these. And um, 
Yeah, I wonder how many episodes they actually come with. Let's see. Okay, I think they come with like 27 to 30 episodes for every set. It might vary, I don't remember, but it's probably the same for the most part. But, yeah, Bleach is awesome. It used to be my favorite anime back in like fourth grade. I love the dynamic between Rukia and Ichigo. I love the dynamic between Rukia and Renji. Um, there's a lot of fun characters like, um, you know, Toshiro with his ice bonkai, Renji with his bonkai, like the swords and the sword powers in this. It's really cool. Um, and yeah, I would love to meet the voice actor who plays Ichigo. He was at Fanex one year, but I didn't meet him. I should have, but if I get the chance in the future, I definitely will and get something of Bleach sign for me. Maybe one of these Blu-rays or the manga. We'll see. But yeah, um, this has amazing action. The art style is amazing in the manga and that translates over well to the anime, which is great. And the anime is coming back in October, I believe, with the Thousand Blood Year War arc. So yeah, I, I love Bleach. It's so awesome. And so yeah, that's the anime. It goes through the Soul Society arc. And there's like the Arankar arc, and then, and then the last arc, so three main arcs. There's filler in the anime, but I actually haven't seen all the episodes of the anime, so I'll definitely want to do that before the Thousand Blood Year War arc comes out. I've been trying to get the manga box sets, but you know, you know how things have been with things being out of stock and whatnot. So yeah, so we have Bleach movies one, two, and three. And there's four Bleach movies so far. Um, and they're all great. I think Fade to Black is my favorite. I don't actually own that one. Um, I think this is actually Bleach Movie 4, and then Fade to Black was Movie 3. Yeah, I think that's right. So, yeah. Um, the Bleach movies are awesome. They're really well animated, have their own unique stories, and are great. Alright, so, next up we got is Noragami Seasons 1 and 2. I really love Noragami. It's about like a god, and all the different gods in the world and um, the main character is a god who wants to be worshipped and have his own shrine and to be popular and famous and he doesn't have that so there's really cool fights that happen in this I love the openings the comedy is spot on the animation is lovely and it's it's great um, I can't wait till we get a season 3 hopefully because there's more content in the manga that hasn't been animated yet alright so next up we got is Everything Full Metal Alchemist. We have The Conqueror of Shambhala and then Full Metal Alchemist, the first anime, which followed the manga and then went off on its own and made its own unique story with its own unique movie called Conqueror of Shambhala. Um, yeah, both are good. I think Brotherhood is better. And if you're going to watch one series, go with Brotherhood. Um, but yeah, um, it used to be, I don't know how it is now, but these were out of print, so I was lucky to get my copy of Brotherhood and the rest of FMA. I love Ed and Al, they have a great dynamic, and yeah, the world feels like it could be a real place, and the powers are really cool with the alchemy, and there's so many characters I love, Ed, Al, Winry, um, Roy Mustang, to name a few. His flame alchemy powers are really cool. So yeah, that is everything Full Metal Alchemist. And I thought the movie was pretty good for the Secret Star Milos. Alright, so next up we got is... We got the first part of the first season of My Hero Academia. When I collect anime, I prefer to get the whole season in one Blu-ray disc, but it doesn't always happen, so that's okay. So yeah, My Hero is definitely my favorite superhero anime. Um, and then after that would definitely be One Punch Man, but yeah, um, I think Deku, I think he's cool. Um, I think it's cool how he's like trying to, you know, control his power and learn how to use it. So I've seen the first two My Hero movies, but I haven't seen the third one, and I would definitely love to watch it because I hear it's the best one yet. All right, so we have Food Wars at the Top seasons one and two. There's five seasons in total for it, 36 volumes in the manga. So this is all about food and like this elite cooking school. 
So, yeah, Soma is a funny main character, but he's also very ambitious and a hard worker and knows how to cook well. He's been doing it since he was a kid, and that definitely helps him out when cooking at this school because you can be expelled, you can compete against other students, which is known as the Shokogeki, where you can, like, lose things or be expelled, like I said. So, yeah, I love this anime. Because, like, the food, it definitely makes you feel hungry because the food is so appetizing in it. And there's, like, some really unique dishes in it. And in the manga, there's actually, like, real steps of how to make um, the food. I feel like they should have made a Food Wars, like, cookbook. They made one for One Piece, but it would have it made way more sense for Food Wars. Alright, so next up we got is Demon Slayer. This is an awesome anime. It gets very intense. But it uh, has good action, comedy, heart. And I haven't seen the movie. I hear it's great. Like it did tremendously well at the box office. But yeah, it's great. I would highly recommend it. Tanjiro is my favorite character. Like Nezuko. I think the two... I think the, uh, the brother and sister have a great dynamic. And yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about Demon Slayer. I haven't seen it all. But um, I think we're getting like a third season for the anime, so that's cool. And yeah, it's just great. I love the openings. And Tanjiro is definitely a hard worker, to say the least. Alright, so next up we got is Dragon Ball Super Broly. Which is my favorite Dragon Ball movie of all time. They made a lot of those movies. There's a new one coming out this week. But yeah, I think it's so good fight with Broly with Vegeta and Goku and when they fuse together and make Gogeta that fight between Broly and Gogeta is so epic so yeah that is Dragon Ball Super Broly I saw that in the theater with some of my family and that was really fun and I can't wait to see the new um, Dragon Ball Super Heroes movie with 3D animation this time but it looks really good Alright, so next up we got is the first set of Dragon Ball Super. I haven't seen all the anime for this, so I definitely want to own it all. There's like a steelbook edition that comes with the, all of the 13 Blu-ray sets for Dragon Ball Super. And yeah, from what I've seen, I've really loved it. Um, I've met the voice actor who plays Goku and he was really nice. And um, yeah, Dragon Ball Super is awesome. and it looks like it gets even more awesome as you go through each season. Alright, so next up we got is Dragon Ball GT, the complete series. So I got this at a great deal at Walmart a while back. Um, I need to watch this fully through. I watched it as a kid, um, and I would watch Dragon Ball every day after school as a kid. But um, I thought this wasn't the best, you know, Dragon Ball show, but... It did have some cool ideas going for it with like the Super Saiyan 4 with the red fur for Vegeta and Goku, right? So yeah. Alright. And um, I like, you know, Trunks and Pan and Goku all working together going on an adventure. I think that's kind of that, that's kind of cool. Alright, so next up we got is Dragon Ball Z Kai Season 1. And I want to own all of this. I've read through all of the manga and I want to see all of Dragon Ball Z Kai in the show. So yeah, this is like an HD, it cuts down the filler, and it's just awesome from what I've seen. Alright, so we have season 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of Dragon Ball, the original series, which is where it all started, right? And yeah, we have like Goku as a kid, Krillin, Master Roshi, King Piccolo, Goku as a young adult, there's like karate tournaments that happen. King Piccolo shows up. Mercenary Tal shows up. There's like the Red Ribbon Army arc. And it's just a classic. I would highly recommend checking it out if you're going to start Dragon Ball. Like anything Dragon Ball, start with Dragon Ball. And then go through, you know, Z and then Super. So, yeah. Um, I think Launch, I think she's the funny character. How she like sneezes and then turns, has like a whole nother personality. And um, 
yeah, I just really love the Dragon Ball, the original series. It's a lot of fun. All right, and that does it for my anime collection. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.